Alright, what is going on everybody? Uh, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how you can make um, vinyl records with all different types of splatters and such, um, as well as the uh, LP album cover box art. Um, yeah, so this is something that I've been playing around with. I have a friend who runs a record label and I've just uh, loved the idea of making my own splatter records or just different types of uh, vinyls essentially that are anything possible. Uh, so I've been playing around with the idea and I just want to show you today how you can use um, any type of texture from the internet and throw it on a vinyl record and I'll show you how to make it from scratch. Um, so this is just the scene I have. Um, I'm not used to working in a 1920 by 1080 screen but I'll get used to it. Um, so this is just a little scene I have. Um, kind of mixed from a few different projects that I've been working on. I've been just playing around with it. So let's hop into uh, another, you can get an example of like how creative you can get with it. Um, you know, the album cover artwork as well as the LP itself. So let's just start from scratch. Yeah, I guess we'll save that. Um, cool. So I'm just going to delete everything right off the bat. I'm going to break my window into two just because I like being able to look at the rendered view as well as the solid view. Um, and then we're going to go into our render settings, switch from EV to cycles. I'm a cycles kind of guy. That's just the way it is. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw in, in, uh, environment texture HDRI into the scene just to have some base lighting. So pop in an environment texture. I have a bunch downloaded from Polyhaven. Um, Definitely recommend checking them out. I usually use the Photo Studio one whenever I'm doing some modeling just so I can get some kind of flat lighting. Um, but let's just get into it. So solid view in one, switch over to rendered view in the other. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the background by going to film in the render properties and switching on transparent. And let's hop into it. So the first thing I'm going to start with is the actual uh, LP itself. And let's just make it... 128 vertices just so it's ultra smooth um, let's see next we're gonna flatten the cylinder uh, so I'm gonna hit S Z I should probably have screen screencast recording keys on but I'm a little too far into it um, not gonna be able to do that by hand as well let's do like a point zero one five uh, it's like still a little too thick 0 0.005 getting there um, what we could do and I didn't do this in the last ones but maybe we uh, switch into edit mode and control A to select all the vertices and then I'm gonna hit control B and then using the mouse wheel I'm gonna scroll up a bit and see if beveling does anything nice to it no it does not so we're just gonna avoid that um, Let's take it down a little bit more. I'm thinking maybe like a 0 0.0025. But LPs are pretty thin. Uh, that looks pretty good. Next up, um, we need to essentially make the grooves of the record. So we're just going to only focus on the top one. You can do this on the bottom, but uh, I switched over to faces mode. Went from vertices to faces. Sorry if I'm moving kind of quick. I'm trying to keep this a little bit little bit short uh, so uh, while selected on the top face here I'll switch over here to um, we're gonna do an inset uh, and basically how to do that you just hit I and then BAM uh, actually there's usually like a little bit of a yeah we'll we'll avoid that for now um, we're gonna inset it down to basically where um, you would normally get the the little side a side b aspect of it i'm blanking on what it's called at the moment but that's all right you get the idea uh bam next thing we need to do is do another inset little tiny basically where um the uh the turntable metal centerpiece would go in uh, once we've done that we need to get rid of that face right here this this little guy right here. Um, by doing that while selected on the face, we're going to hit X and then delete faces. And then there is one on the bottom. So we will also have to delete that as you can see. 
but you can't see it, I guess. But bam, just like that. So now we have basically our vinyl record. And just make sure everything's straight. Cool. So now it's a good time to find a texture you like. And uh, we will now start mapping it onto our record. So obviously we have a lot of geom a lot of faces here. Uh, the best way to select the outer faces, because that's what we're focusing on first. Um, click on one of them, hit shift, and then alt, and then click on another one within the, the circumference of the circle. Next, we're going to go to Shader Editor. We'll add a new material. We'll call this LP Design. Um, like I said, you can do this with anything. Um, I'm going to keep it with the splatter designs for now. So I brought my splatter texture directly into the shader viewport, connected to the base color, and as you can see, it just kind of threw it on the entire record, which is not exactly what we want at the moment. Um, what we can do is, because we are selected on all the faces that essentially we want the splatter record to be on, we can go to assign. Um, I'm just gonna add a new material really quickly and call this inner LP, and we'll deal with that later. Um, now let's head back to LP design because we are still selected on everything in edit mode of the faces we like. We can go to the UV editor, hit A, and then we're just going to scale this up uh, and try and get it just inside this box. And as you can see, it kind of spread out the texture, um, which is great. Uh, I just switched back to object mode to just get a little preview. Um, back there go back to edit mode and then a real easy way to not have to go and reselect all the interfaces because we're going to now make the inner lp um, while selected on the outer faces you can hit uh control i and that basically just flips everything which is super convenient especially when you're doing modeling so now we need to assign uh the inner texture basically we already set up the material uh, it's called inner lp we're going to switch over to that and then we're just going to hit assign and bam, we got a record just like that. Um, and you can do a whole lot more with this. You know, you can create your own Photoshop stuff. Uh, you know, if I really wanted to, I could bring in like another texture. This is one that I actually Photoshopped uh, off of one of my friend's records. Um, it's gonna be kind of messed up to begin with. But if we go into the UV editor and we switch over on the top section here to LP inner, uh, what I like to do is uh, project from view. You go to UV here and then project from view. Just makes it a little bit easier to line things up. And then, and this isn't going to be ideally perfect, but you'll get the gist of it. Bam, just like that. Uh, you have yourself a record. Uh, and what's cool is once you have the template for this, you know, you can really start adjusting it however you may see fit. So I could just remove that. Um, if we wanted to change this design or, you know, add some just, you know, it's a basically you can do a whole bunch with it. Add metallic, drop the roughness down. Um, let's see what else I can bring in. Uh, I liked working with this cat. This cat was pretty fun. So bam, just like that. Cats are our main John. And then uh, you can plug it into the emission, give it like a strength of 10. Ooh, it's bright. Go to the world settings, disconnect the environment map and drop this down. And uh, maybe I have to bring back. Uh... Yeah, now you have a glow in the dark texture. There's just so much you can do. Um, and I love experimenting with the different designs you can make. Um, let's bring back our lighting settings real quick. Like I said, this kind of, this is actually one of my first tutorials. So forgive me if I'm just like all over the place. Uh, what am I missing? Why is it dark? Oh, this is what happened. Oh yeah, I gotta connect back the HDRI. Yeah. so. You can just do a whole bunch with it. Um, you know, if you wanted to add extra stuff, you could. But uh, let's get to part two of this tutorial, which um, 
Actually, let me save this, of course. Tutorial. Next thing we need to do is basically make the album uh, cover art and such, or whatever you want to call it, the uh, LP sleeve. That's the correct term. I've been searching for that the whole tutorial, and I just figured it out. Um, so we're going to start off by shift A, throw in a cube. Uh, we'll scale her down. Yeah, no, like, got to really scale it down. This is like a pizza box. Uh, that's, we'll do point zero zero. Ooh. Is there a 10? Nope, that was point zero zero one. Point zero ten. Too big. Point zero zero five. What? I can't remember what I did for like a point zero zero two. Alright, I'll do like a point zero zero three five. I think that's a good size. Um Something we can do if we tab into edit mode is kind of bevel. If we want to bevel, no, we don't want to bevel. Uh, before I get too far into this, uh, we should delete this face here. Uh, this is basically where you would insert the record. So, just like we did before, tab into edit mode, select the one face you want to select. Um, I'll show you right here this little guy and hit x delete the face and then now our record can actually uh slide out if it really wants like whoop just like that whoop whoop yeah cool um so yeah let's just texture this thing next we are going to go into the shader editor add a new material we'll call this lp sleeve up I like naming my uh, materials, but I do forget quite frequently to do that. Um, actually, let's just call this, uh, I'll do Kobe. Uh, so yeah, now I just inserted the material. Uh, as you can see, it's not correct. So we're gonna tab into edit mode. Um, so while selected, make sure you're on face select. I'm just gonna select the top one this time. Uh, tab make sure that our UV is selected on this texture and then hit a in the UV editor and uh, we'll sort this guy up it's upside down in the render viewport but that's not a problem we can fix that really easily um, so once we've just kind of lined it up to our liking I'm gonna hit GRZ just gonna rotate it 180 degrees and now it's right side up uh, next thing you know we're gonna add a metallic shader Roughness is going to stay just like playing with these values to see what we can get. Uh, keep a specular where it is. Um, here's an idea let us make this material glossy. Um, da, 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 da. I'll plug this in and yeah, let's, let's, let's work with that. Cool, 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 cool. All right, now let's do the back. The back, I have no idea what I want it to be. You know, you could always, you know, like, so this is where you could go into Photoshop. You could make your own title tracks or whatnot, like the Kobe Cat LP or I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm really just playing around with the random textures that I have in a folder from when I was playing with this. Um, but there's just so many opportunities to do cool things. So if we tab into edit mode, we're just going to make this its own material and we'll call this lp sleeve down we'll assign it's just blank at the moment um sure splatter nice nice cool once again tab into or er, switch over to uv editor uh find our splatter art and i'm not oh i'm still in object mode yeah if you ever don't see the the little guides for it um, there's a high chance that you aren't in edit mode and you're not selected on the face or object that you want to be um, so let's just play around with this it doesn't have to be perfect especially because these are square materials it's not like if I miss like an edge sometimes when you're working with like different shapes it's better to be more accurate but for this it's not the end of the world 
Cool. Yeah, so this is kind of cool. So we have these faces on the side. You know, I could just easily make these um, a single color uh, by adding another material. We'll just call it sides. We'll hit a sign and um, we'll just drop them to black. Up the metallic. As you know how we do. I'm also going to up the metallic on the bottom one and switch to top view. And bam, we now have a Kobe Cat LP. <laughs> let's, uh, let's actually switch the cat material to a Kobe. Just to show you how easy it is once you get it going to just interchange textures. Bam, uh, let's just hide our cube real quick. Yeah, so maybe we want the inner sleeve to also have the Kobe material. Um, you know, we could just... Uh, uh, make sure we're in edit mode, hit shift alt, select all of them, and then hit uh, assign, and then go to the UV editor, and the Kobe, 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 project from view, and then we could try and line this up. I will say this is going to be a little more challenging than, you know, the, the better way to do this is when you start. Um, that's like kind of all right. It is a little glitch, but you know, it works. Oh yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's not that great though. But yeah, like I said, there's so many different things that you can do. Um, we're going to switch her back. Um, ooh, nope. So many different options you can do with this, uh, and I highly encourage you to explore all uh, possibilities. Uh, always, always name your things, and then you know you can do awesome, uh, cool animations with this. Uh, save again. You know, we'll set a keyframe for location. Um, we'll go like 30 frames. We'll have it go on the x-axis. Um, next up, we will have keyframe here for location and rotation. And then uh, we'll have it switch on the x-axis, like 360 degrees. And then maybe also 180, ooh, nope. Uh, do like a 360 degrees on the Z. Let's see how that looks. Wow. Cool. Yeah, so that's basically it. Like I said, you can kind of play around with all different textures, you know, just for one more, one more, just like, just one more. Um, let's put Steph Curry. Oh, it didn't actually load. Oh, maybe because you're not a JPEG. That could be why. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, like I said, you could just, there's so many possibilities, and it's so awesome to just experiment. Uh, eventually, you know, you can make these awesome scenes like this and throw cover art and stuff. So, yeah, that's all for the tutorial today. Sorry if it was a little scrambled. I'm like, kind of just starting my day. But uh, I hope you enjoy. If you have questions, throw them down in the comment box, or if you want to see a specific style LP, uh, I may be releasing the this asset project file on a future Patreon that I haven't quite created, but it's in the works. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for more videos, like, comment, subscribe, you know the deal. Anyways, peace out, have a good day.